Why is China's monopoly of rare earth minerals spooking the world? What are rare earth minerals after all? And why is India racing to break China's grip on these metals and minerals? Hello and welcome. You're watching Business Today Television. I'm Sakshi Batra. And if these are the questions that have been hitting you very hard on this video and in this special show, we are going to be decoding everything that you need to know about rare earth elements. Now these rare earth elements are 17 critical metals that power everything from smartphones to electric vehicles to even wind turbines and missiles. And right now China controls 90% of the world's rare earth magnet supply and that is truly causing a global scramble especially in India. Remember in April of 2025, China tightened export controls on seven rare earth elements and finished magnets. And now Indian industries, especially the automotive industry and the electronics industries, these are feeling the pinch. India imports over 80% of the rare earth magnets from China with new export licenses now taking at least 45 days and no shipments arriving since May. Indian electric vehicle and electronics productions could slow down or even halt if such shortages continue. Look at Maruti Suzuki, India's largest car maker that's already cut the production targets for its new electric model due to such magnet shortages. Maruti Suzuki was earlier planning to produce over 26,000 units of its electric vehicle Evitara, but now it will produce only about 8,000, only because of these magnet shortages. Now, if the delays persist, not just electric vehicles, but also conventional vehicles and appliances could be affected. So what are we doing about it? Well, India is acting on multiple fronts, negotiating with China for urgent approvals, resumption of magnet exports, also fast-tracking domestic mining and magnet manufacturing in India, with Indian Rare Earths Limited and Bark also pushing new technologies and partnerships on that aspect. We're also exploring alternative suppliers in Japan in Vietnam, in Indonesia and the United States of America and even Russia, although each of these countries have their own challenges. Launching the National Critical Mineral Mission to boost exploration and production of rare earths at home is something that we are doing as well. Now China's rare earth magnets are definitely cheaper due to heavy subsidies there and the advanced technology that the country uses. India's domestic production is still ramping up and is right now facing a lot of cost and technological hurdles. Even with the new mining blocks and processing partnerships, it will and might take months before India can truly meet its own demand, let alone exports. But why is China also holding exports right now, if you ask? China is using this strategically of the rare earths as an economic weapon and that may actually offer it a short-term leverage. But the question is, can it run into risks in the long term? China might be controlling the present of rare earths, but it may not control the future is what most of the experts are saying. By restricting the rare earth exports, China definitely aims to pressurize foreign industries and governments, especially those pushing back against its strategic and technological ambitions. This is a tactic However, it does not come without risks, since many countries have already got their own rare earth deposits. After all, rare earth elements are not as rare as the name sounds. They also have the capability to refine them. China's gambling on a rare leverage that it has on the world. It can use it sparingly and then step back. But a hard stance can only cost it dearly. Experts also say that China's move will surely accelerate innovation in material science. Companies are already increasingly investing in rare earth free alternatives. In the long term, this could shrink the global dependence on even such rare earth metals, minerals, magnets altogether, diminishing China's current leverage on the same. So what's going to be the road ahead? Well, India's rare earth push is a race against time. 
the government is considering a 3,000 crore rupee incentive scheme to boost the local magnet manufacturing that's aiming for 4,000 tons a year. But for now, the country is still dependent on imports and any prolonged disruption can definitely slow down India's EV revolution and the digital growth as well. The question still remains, will India break free from China's rare earth monopoly? The next few months will be extremely crucial for India's tech and auto ambitions. Comrade Sangma, why do you get angry? Comrade Sangma, why are you 